my wife and I were walking down Main Street here, and uh, the car was coming flying back here, like over 100 miles an hour. We could hardly even see me. It was going that quick. There was a car in front of him. He swerved around it, and then it looked like he hit the fence, and this uh, fire started. And then all of a sudden, he went up in the air, and then it was a ball of fire, like 30, 40 feet high. I've never seen anything like it. It was really in incredible. I'm sorry, sir. You were walking. Where were you walking? We were walking up this way. Yeah. Yeah. And then describe it again. So okay. The so we were walking well, up towards, right, towards right, us. Turn towards oh, us. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So we were walking up the road, and we seen this car coming down towards the border, and he was flying over 100 miles an hour. There was a car in front of him. He swerved out, went in front of the car, hit the fence, went flying up into the air. He hit. I think there was a elevation part. He went up into the air, and we just seen the fireball, and that's all we could see. It was just covered in smoke everywhere. So the car was coming from the U.S. into Canada, towards Canada? Yes, it was going towards Canada, yes. Okay, did it actually hit towards the bridge? Where was that elevated area? It, there was a fence there that fenced off around there. It looked like it hit part of the fence because it's all damaged. And then it went elevated up, and then it went up into the air, and then it was just a fireball and smoke everywhere. And uh, did you see officers like pulling weapons or doing anything like Not that? Not till later. I had never seen him pull a weapon. But I, it took about 10 minutes for, like the border police were there obviously, but it took about 10 minutes and all of a sudden there were just police everywhere. All right, did you hear any other noises or anything? We heard a big bang, yeah. Real loud bang and then, yeah. then you saw this car and the explosion. Yeah, yeah. and we, I said there's no way that guy's gonna stop. There's no way he can stop, he's just going too fast. You couldn't tell if it had what kind of license plates on it or no, anything? No, like no, we couldn't, no. Well, how would you describe the car? Um, it looked like a Chrysler 300, but somebody told me it was a Bentley. But it was, there are similar cars in, in that, so, yeah. Okay. And he was swerving as he was going down this road here, fishtailing, because he were, was going so fast. Were there any police cars following him? No, I didn't see not one, no. And we waited, and we actually walked back to the border, and then we were there about maybe 10 minutes, and the police all started to come. Uh, how many people could you see? How many people were in the car? Do you think no, just the driver? No, I have no idea. No, we couldn't see. It was just, he was just going so fast. You never saw anything like this before? I've never seen anything like this. It was just incredible. The, the fire was so high up in the air. I, I just, the, my only concern was I hope nobody else got hurt. Because if anybody was in that way, they, I don't think they would have survived. Did you see any ambulances? or? They came after, but it was a, quite a bit after. The fire trucks are there, obviously, first. And then uh, the police came, and there were all kinds of police that came. And then the ambulance came after. You couldn't see anybody being put in the ambulance? No, I, no, I couldn't, no. Okay. Uh, and uh, just, uh, did they talk to you? Did they question They got my number. I told them I seen what happened, so they took my phone number down. They said they would contact me if they needed to. Wow. Okay. Yeah. An incredible experience. It's wild for sure, yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. All right. So that you... first thing you heard, sir, was that after you saw a fishtail? It, it was, well, he was going down here fishtailing. He pulled out in front of another car, and then I think that's when he, because he was going so fast, he hit the fence, and there was a fire then. But then when he went up again, he must have hit the building, and then there was a big noise, and then the flame just shot up in there, and there was nothing but smoke, then you couldn't see nothing. So you, do you think it actually hit, like, one of, like, where the bridge inspectors are, or do you think it was a fence more? I, he hit the fence, and then after the that, I'm not sure. Side, like, it was on the right-hand side? It was on the right-hand side. Oh, right and then the car, I think, veered off to the left a bit. I don't know what it hit after that because you couldn't see from the smoke from the first hit of the, f the fence because it's, it, there was a flame then. Correct. Already. It, it, would you say like 20, 30 feet? That was yeah, flames? I would say when we seen the major, yeah, it was at least 30 feet. Yeah. And it was the car you think that blew up? I, I would say so, but I don't know for sure because right. I don't know what it hit. Okay. So. All right. Okay, but you're okay? Your uh, yeah, okay? we're okay. Yeah, we were just walking, but we were kind of in a little bit of a shock to see this because... I don't think that person is going to survive the way it, and their car parts were everywhere in little pieces.